Uh, my name is Alessandro Maranto. I'm an uh, Italian and I'm a PhD fellow at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. And as of today, I completed uh, one year and a half of staying in, uh, in the city of Delft, working in the hydroinformatics department under the supervision of Dr. Dimitri Salomatini and Gerard Corso Perez. Can you tell me what brought you to IHE Delft? Yes, I'm a part of a sandwich PhD program uh, that involves the University of Nebraska-Lincoln and uh, the IHE. And uh, when uh, I saw the opportunity of coming to Delft for one year, for one year and a half, I was uh, extremely enthusiastic of being part of this group and uh, to go towards uh, this experience. What are you researching, Alessandro? Uh, I'm uh, doing a, a research that involves uh, the use of uh, geostatistical tools and uh, data-driven and advanced statistical modeling for optimized groundwater allocation in uh, agriculture in the central high plains uh, of the United States. Being based in the Netherlands, how did that contribute to your research? Uh, it was an extremely nice experience for several reasons. The first one that comes to my mind, it was uh, uh, the possibility to collaborate uh, with Dr. Salomatino and Dr. Corso, which are experts in the field of uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence and data-driven modeling, and that helps me to develop my statistical and research skill in a complementary way with respect to what I've learned in the University of Nebraska. During the time that you have been at IHG Delft, have you worked together with other PhD fellows and other staff members? Uh, yes, for sure. Uh, two names in particular comes to my mind, which are Maurizio Mazzoleni and Juan Carlos Chacon. Uh, with Juan Carlos, I discussed many research opportunities and many researchers' ideas, and some of them are actually have actually been uh, implemented. With Maurizio Mazzoleni, we collaborated in the development, and I had a minor contribution uh, in the development of uh, two of his papers. And uh, it was nice because uh, being part of this different research area, I had the opportunity to learn something from them and vice versa, to give my contribution to uh, some of their researches. Would you say that spending the year and a half at IHE Delft as part of your PhD has really enriched your learning experience? It, 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 it did. It did enrich my learning experience. Uh, and uh, uh, first of all, working in a very nice environment as the IHE Delta is, uh, gave me a strong, gave a, a strong contribution to the development of my PhD per se. And also listening to the suggestions of uh, colleagues of mine, uh, but also to staff member and faculty members <clears throat> enhance my research skill. Uh, a little bit more than uh, just a little, but uh, definitely. Okay. And obviously IHE Delft is very different from the University of Nebraska. What would you say are the main differences that jump out? Uh, okay, let's say uh, the IHE Delft uh, is, as, a, as an institute is uh, like a, is a, an extremely friendly environment in which uh, you work and you know pretty much everybody in, you have the chance to talk uh, and to develop your skills and uh, to be surrounded by people that uh, works uh, in your field. The University of Nebraska is of course uh, much more, uh, it has a lot of more variety. The, the main topic of the IG is water. Uh, I was working in the biological systems engineering department and over there I was talking with people that was dealing with uh, agriculture and uh, agricultural machinery, mm, which is still where both of them are, I do believe, they're, they have people working towards the same aim, which is saving water and ensure water security, but from different perspective, while in the Aichi, it was much more easier to find somebody that was working exactly in my field. And Delft itself, the city, is very different, I'm sure, from Nebraska. What was your first impression of Delft? Uh, the only thing I can say is I think Delft is the most beautiful city in the world, probably. <laughs> uh, I really loved enjoying and being in this, uh, in this environment because it looks like it came out of a fairy tale. Uh, and I'm Italian, so I have Roman Florence uh, to be seen twice a year very easily. But it was uh, just magic being here. And what are your plans once you leave us? Uh, I will be in Nebraska at the beginning of January. And um, my plan uh, it is to go there, keep working hard, finish my, my PhD, 
uh, and uh, given all the contribution that I got both from the University of Nebraska Lincoln and the Aichi, I would like to be in academia again, uh, perhaps for a postdoc or a lecturing position. Uh, I do believe it's going to be in Europe and in particular I would like to be in the Aichi or in the Netherlands. Thank you very much, Alessandro, and Thank you. all the very best of luck for your future.